Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. This video is the top five, or in other words, the biggest winners for our fantasy drafts for the 2018-2019 fantasy basketball season. Are you guys ready to get into it? Three, two, one, let's get it, let's go. Boom. This video is brought to you guys by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is a ticket app where you guys can buy tickets for a great price and actually know the value of what the seat you're buying. This app gives you access to a visual view of what you guys will be actually seeing when you guys purchase the ticket. So basically, it is everything for you guys all in one app. It is an app for sports games, concerts, you can name it all. So make sure you guys download the app and be sure to use my promo code Easy buckets to get a twenty dollar discount on your first purchase. All right, guys. So basically, right now we are four to five weeks in in fantasy basketball, and there are players in our head that we're thinking that these guys are probably one of the biggest deals in our fantasy draft. Basically, these players are players, guys, that we drafted in the later rounds of our fantasy drafts, and now they're bogging out, giving us top thirty fantasy basketball value. These players have stepped up and is now one of our best players in our squad and players who own these players, you guys all know the good feeling you guys have because once we figure out that these players are balling out, we are really happy that we drafted them in our league. In other words, guys, if you guys own these players, you guys must be doing well in your fantasy drafts because you definitely drafted them later and they're giving you top 30 value. And for those who have been following me, guys, I've told you myself, these players are going to break out and I 100% correct. And these are the five players that I've been projected to be one of the best fantasy players for this year. But before I get into the list, guys, if you guys are new to Easy Buckets, this is a fantasy basketball channel. We talk about fantasy basketball and do everything related to that. What I do differently, guys, is I actually message you guys back on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So if you guys want any advice, if you guys need any questions about fantasy basketball, go follow me on Instagram at easy.buckets and send me a direct message because I'll definitely message you guys back on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But other than that, guys, let's go straight to the list on the top five biggest steals or or the winners of the fantasy basketball draft. The first player on this list is De'Aaron Fox of the Sacramento Kings. When talking about De'Aaron Fox, guys, the first thing I want to mention is what he is ranked now compared to what he was ranked before draft day. So right now, guys, he's currently ranked 36 in fantasy basketball rankings. And what's good about that is that, guys, his original ranking was under the 100 mark. So guys, what that means is he was drafted after the 100 spot. And now he's balling off for you because you did get him in the 7th or 8th or 9th rounds of your fantasy basketball drafts if this is true to what I'm saying guys you drafted him so late if he's playing as a top 30 player then definitely hit the thumbs up button right now guys because De'Aaron Fox is probably one of the best steals of this fantasy basketball draft of the 2018-2019 season right now he's balling out guys owning 88% of leagues he's averaging 18.7 points a game 4.4 rebounds 7.3 assists 1.2 steals guys and that is a great mark for De'Aaron Fox value compared to last year he only averaged 11 points 2.8 rebounds and 4.4 assists so let's Give it up, guys, for those players who drafted De'Aaron Fox as a second or third or fourth round point guard for your fantasy teams, guys. He's definitely gonna definitely be continuing to do this because he is the man and the player and the point guard for the Sacramento Kings for the future to come. The second player is Tim Hardaway Jr. of the New York Knicks. Tim Hardaway Jr. is also one of the biggest deals of this draft, guys. He's averaging plus 24 points a game now, and that's definitely killing it for your fantasy basketball team. He's right now ranked 27th in fantasy rankings, and what's important is that we. He drafted it in the 60 to 70 spot, which puts him in the fifth or sixth round value. What's also a key thing to remember is that, guys, he's a fifth and a sixth round value player at drafting point and on draft day, but now he's balling out to be a top 20 player and one of your best scorers on your fantasy team. And that could definitely give you a boost at your points and three point percentages. Right now, guys, he's averaging a highly and anticipated 3.4 three points made a game, guys. And he is definitely picking up the slack because Kristaps Porzingis is currently injured for the New York Knicks. He seems to be that guy of the team. He seems to be that number one option on scoring. And Tim Hardaway Jr., I don't see him slowing down anytime soon. The third player is Zach Levine of the Chicago Bulls. Zach Levine is one of the best players on this list. And personally, the best player meaning one of my favorites. And this is because Zach Levine is averaging plus 25 points a game and showing most improved player written all over him. Right now, he's averaging 27.4 points, 5.0 rebounds, 3.8 assists, 0 0.9 steals, and 0 0.8 blocks a game guys that is almost one steal and one block a game and which makes Levine not really known for a defensive player but right now he's putting up plus 25 points with decent defensive stats and because now of that value he's ranked in the sixth position guys and remember on fantasy draft days we all drafted him in the fourth or fifth rounds but he's ranked sixth right now making him a first round player for your fantasy basketball team that you guys are having and enjoying because he definitely is giving you monster numbers 
If you guys own Zach Levine, you know of his potential and you know what he is able to do for you to score plus 30 points a game, to score plus five threes a game. Zach Levine's a great player and he's the number one option on the Bulls. And if you own him, my kudos and congratulations to you. The fourth player is Nikola Mirotic of the New Orleans Pelicans. Nikola Mirotic is also one of those players we did not expect to blow up. We did not expect his percentage and usage rate to be that high. But you know what guys, it was perfect match. Nikola Mirotic and Anthony Davis seem to be a front court that is working really well because he spreads the floor well for Anthony Davis. Right now Nikola Mirotic is ranked 21st guys in fantasy drafts. And remember guys, he was drafted in the 7th or 8th rounds of your fantasy drafts because he was ranked in the 90 to 100 spot. Right now he's averaging 20.6 points, 11.7 rebounds, 1.3 assists, 0 0.8 steals and 0.5 blocks guys and a player that can score 21 points a game 12 rebounds a game sitting beside Anthony Davis at that usage rate spot makes Nikola Mirotic one of the biggest deals of our fantasy drafts he's giving you plus 2.5 threes a game and that's definitely amazing because Nikola Mirotic was one of those bigs last year that you owned that was really inconsistent on night to night basis so let's give it up for those general managers who have Nikola Mirotic guys but right now I suggest if you have a chance to get Nikola Mirotic I highly recommend it because he is going to put up these numbers throughout the whole fantasy season when healthy. And the fifth and final player is Buddy Heald of the Sacramento Kings. Buddy Heald, guys, was the player that got traded for DeMarcus Cousins, was the player to come in for the Sacramento Kings and take over. And you know what, guys? He's definitely showing that as now he is the number one scoring option on that team. Buddy Heald, guys, is right now ranked 25th in fantasy rankings, and he's averaging 20 points a game with 5.6 rebounds, 2.6 assists, 0.5 steals, and 0.5 blocks, guys. But what's important to know is that Buddy Heald, guys, was ranked after the 90th spot, which means you got him in the 7th and 8th rounds, similar to Nikola Mirotic and De'Aaron Fox situation. Right now, Buddy Hill is balling out for your team. He's probably one of the most important scoring players to give you threes, points, and a decent amount of rebounds and assists for your fantasy basketball team. Right now, his usage rate of the Sacramento Kings is really high, guys, and I don't see that going away because Buddy Hill seems to be that Clay Thompson, that shooting guard, and that player for the team that will consistently put up good fantasy basketball numbers. So if you can get Buddy Hill, guys, I suggest you do so because Buddy Hill is one of the biggest deals of the 2018-2019 fantasy. Alright guys, that video wraps up the video on the top 5 biggest winners of our fantasy drafts. If you guys enjoyed the video guys, give me a thumbs up guys, and I'll sure make more videos like this. So if you guys agree to the list or have any opinions on this list guys, put that down in the comment section down below and let's start a discussion. But once again, if you guys are new to Easy Buckets guys, hit that subscribe button and welcome to the Easy Buckets family. But other than that guys, take it easy, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time on Easy Buckets. Woo! I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute. Uh, RIP the game, shh, I need a minute. Uh, okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got the deed with it. These bozos always sneak this and they take a shots, so I'ma keep with it. Like, no, no, this me.